effective as it normally is. And many of the bacteria and viruses Hey YouTube, my name's Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar, and today I'm going to be doing part 6 in the series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. In the last tutorial we covered uh, the parser, which is this, and uh, it was the longest tutorial um, in this series, so it's not going to be that long uh, of tutorials from now on. And today we're going to be doing um, the code generator. The code generator is the most important part of the compiler because without it, uh, all of the other work that we've done with the AST parser, scanner, um, and all of the work that we're going to do with the program.cs file will pretty much be useless. Uh, so we need to get this one done. So the first thing we need to do is we need to clear the libraries. We're going to be using collections. We're also going to be using reflections. We're going to be using emit, which is system dot reflection. Dot emit. We're also going to be using IO. Okay. So we're going to declare a public sealed class. We're going to call this one Cogen. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to type in emit dot il generator il equals null we're going to do collection dot dictionary uh, less than sign string comma emit that local building. Uh, greater than sign and symbol table. Okay. Okay. After that, we're going to do a public cogen STMT, comma string module name. Within this, we're going to do an if statement. If io.path.get file name, module name does not equal module name. We're going to throw a new system that exception. And we're going to type in can only output into current directory. And 
And after that, we're going to do reflect dot assembly name. Tell this one name equals new reflect that assembly name io dot path dot get file name without extension. And it's going to be module name. Okay. After that, we're going to do emit that assembly name, assembly builder, sorry. We're going to call this ASMB equals system dot app domain dot current domain dot define dynamic assembly Name emit that assembly builder. Sorry. That's safe. Nope. So assembly builder access got saved. Commit dot module builder. And we call this MLDB equals ASMB dot define dynamic module. This is going to be module name. We're going to do emit dot type builder. Call this one type builder equals modb dot define type we we'll call this one foo after that we're going to do emit dot method builder We'll call this meth b equals type builder dot define method That method attributes that static type of this one's going to be void ok guys we'll finish this in the next part of this tutorial see you then